What's up everyone? In today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can apply textures to your designs inside Photoshop. This allows for maximum flexibility. It is the industry way to do it, and honestly, the simplest way. So, let's go. What's up everyone? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can apply uh, any sort of texture inside of Photoshop to apparel. So in my previous video, which is all about uh, vintage style designs, I basically gave you guys some tips and techniques to give your designs a sort of vintage vibe. And I referenced a uh, texture bundle that I have on Creative Market, but I didn't really show you exactly how to use textures. And I realized that today and figured it would probably be best to, you know, rather than edit that last video and repost it just to do a whole video that is all about using textures in Photoshop and different ways you can manipulate it, different ways you can use it and adjust it um, so that you're super flexible and you can experiment and things like that. So let's jump right into it. Um, I have on my desktop the download from Creative Market. So we're gonna pop that open. Um, I wanna preface this by saying, this will work with any sort of texture, obviously, like I'm just using my own because I already have it done and it's ready to go. So um, as long as you have textures that are properly made and they're 300 DPI and meant for screen printing, everything I'm saying in this video is gonna work for that. So use you know whatever you want. Let's start out with this. Um, Let's start off with the 05 Vintage Soft Grunge. I love this one, I use it all the time. That's not a plug at all. Uh, <laughs> so, we have it open here in Photoshop, it's just black and white. So, you know, if you haven't used textures before, you're probably like, all right, what am I supposed to do with this? So, um, you're gonna want to do Command A, or if you're on a PC, I think it would just be Control A, but it basically just selects the entire canvas, right? Then you wanna do Command C to copy it. And then go over to the file that you wanna apply the texture to. Uh, in this case, I'm using a uh, older design. This is probably from a few years ago from Margot Price. This design did super well. It was on tour, it was in her store for a while. I actually ran into a friend of mine who was wearing this t-shirt and had no idea I designed it. So that was kind of a cool moment. It happens every once in a while, but you know, it's kind of rare uh, that those two worlds collide like that. Um, so if I wanted to apply texture to this whole thing, the easiest way to do it is to group it all together first. So here we have all the you know separate layers that I was working with and editing. And you're gonna want to click the top layer, hold down shift, and then go to the bottom layer um, and click that one so that everything is selected. And then do command G, that's gonna group everything together, okay? So now I have a nice, nice little group here. You could, you know, rename it or do whatever you want. Um, from here, in order to apply the texture to the entire design, we'll have to create a layer mask. So go down to the bottom of this, the layers panel and click this little, it's like a folder with a circle. And that's going to create our layer mask here. So once we have the layer mask, go to uh, option, hold down the option button, and click this white square, and that'll take us inside the layer mask. So from here, um, if you you know haven't been doing a bunch of other stuff and you still have your um, texture copied, all you'll have to do is click, hold down option, and click this white box. Oh, whoops, sorry, we're already inside, okay. So all we'll have to do from here is do Command V and that will paste the texture inside the layer mask, right? So inside the layer mask, outside the layer mask. That's just holding down Option and clicking this. No, you can go in and out, in and out, just like that. So now you can see the texture has been applied to the design. So it's pretty cool, you know, you can still edit as needed, you know, if you wanna move stuff around, do whatever you want. Um, if you want to move this texture around, if you're not necessarily happy with, um, you know, where the textures are sitting on the design, it's as easy as going over here and using the move tool and just moving it around, like make sure you're on this top, 
very top layer. That's the layer mask. And you can just move it around. Move it wherever. You know, you don't want to go off like this so that, you know, this happens over here and you're not getting this texture. But, you know, you can move it a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. Can, you know, obviously there's a ton of room to move it up and down. Um, I purposely made these textures so that, um, that's the text from my sister there. <laughs> I have messages off. I don't, I gotta fix this. I don't understand why you still, but I'm answering my sister. Yes, I wanna go to the review show. I have a ticket. So, what I was saying is, if you want to edit this uh, texture at all, like beyond just moving it up and down, you can actually just go over here to the clone stamp tool. It's, um, make sure you have this, this top one selected and not pattern stamp tool, or clone stamp tool at the top. And then while this um, top texture layer is selected, hold down op the option key and click wherever you see like a nice part of the texture that you want to use somewhere else. So like right here, this is pretty nice. Um, you know, you could use that over here a little bit. There's some nice texture down here. Um, one piece of advice I can give you is that if you want your vintage design to look more authentic, you want to make sure you don't um, clearly have the same texture used in multiple areas, right? So if I, you know, I use this and I like use it again there and I like also use it again there, you're going to have the exact same texture next to each other. Um, so this is obviously a pretty extreme example, um, you know, but even if it was like right there, or right there, like it, it, if someone notices it, it just takes away from the authenticity of the design if, if your intent is to make it look vintage. So I recommend like really trying to spread things out and, and make them, um, you know, as unique as possible if you are going to mess with the textures. Um, I think I was saying before, I purposely made these so that you hopefully will just be able to simply copy and paste them over. You won't have to mess with them a ton, but you know, I I definitely will sometimes mess around with these if I if I want to make them look more vintage. Um, the areas that have more ink, I will generally apply like a little bit more texture because if you think about the way vintage T-shirts are, um, you know, over decades they'll go through you know hundreds thousands of washes and the areas that had the most ink will um erode away and they'll start to fade and the very small areas will you know it won't be as noticeable that they're they're um eroded so that's generally generally what i do and you know those are just the small details that you know you'll want to get into once you're more experienced and um, things like that, but I you know it's definitely a habit that is not a bad idea to develop um, early on. So, one thing I want to mention with layer mask that's pretty cool is it allows for some really nice flexibility on changing the color of the uh, t shirt, which is the background technically, you know. So, like if I thought this might work really well on like a uh, Carolina blue. Maybe, um, you know, it's gonna be a Heather uh, Carolina Blue uh, t-shirt. All you have to do is change the color of the background to whatever color you wanna use. So if we just do edit, fill, you'll see that the, you know, white texture, uh, the black and white texture changes accordingly to the background. So, you know, if you wanna, really quickly mess around with this. I just hit Command U on this bottom layer that brings up the hue and saturation box. And then you can just change the hue and see like, all right, what other colors might this work really well on? I think they printed this on white and then I think like a heather gray, um, you know? So that looked pretty good, you know? Um, black doesn't look terrible. I don't, I guess, love it, but... <laughs> You can seriously just mess around forever and just see like what types of blanks you might want to use. You know, oh, like a nice yeah, red that might look kind of cool. Yeah, so this layer mask method for textures allows for a ton of flexibility. Um, like I said, you can edit the textures however you want using the clone stamp tool. You can move it up and down and screen printers 
uh, love it. It's a lot easier than having a top layer with a texture and having to knock it out of, you know, all the layers that's super time consuming. And, um, you know, they might at the end of the day, not even want a texture on it. So if, if you want to get rid of the texture and maybe try something else, or you've decided that you just want a clean look overall for the design, you don't want any texture at all. It's as simple as going up to the group and right clicking on this white box and going delete layer mask. So now you're back to this group and you know, you know, just for the sake of this tutorial, let's try um, using another texture. So what else might work good here? I love this rough wall texture. Um, I love the vertical grain one. Let's just try the rough wall. So here we can do the same thing. Command A, we'll grab everything. Command copy, go over here. We've got our group. We're gonna create a layer mask once again. I just said it needed to think about something. Okay, option, click the white circle, command V, there's our new texture. Option, click the box, we're out of our layer mask, and boom, Can move it around. See so yeah, this how looks, this looks pretty good. I kind of like how this is a little bit heavier right here, um, and it just is sort of like a cloudy, um, you know, look overall. Yeah, I love this texture. This one's really good. Um, so yeah, that's the the easiest way to you know delete the layer mask, go back in, redo it really quick, and once you you know sort of have done this a few times, it'll just it'll be so easy to do. Just within a few clicks, you'll be able to experiment and do you know everything like that. So um, I guess that pretty much covers it for this video in terms of using textures uh, in Photoshop for apparel. Um, like I said, this method will apply to, you know, if you have a logo and you wanna apply a bit of a grunge look to that, but you wanna maintain the clean look that you can go back to uh, later on, you can use this method uh, for that. And, uh, you know, I just really love that it gives you the flexibility to experiment with different colors for the t-shirt. And uh, that sort of gives you, um, a heads up on you know when you're mocking the t-shirt what colors might work best for it so um, yeah this is the go-to method in my opinion and uh, like I said I've got this whoops I've got this um, texture pack available on creative market there are a ton of people on creative market who have awesome uh, textures for you to use along with a ton of other resources um, shout out to Brent Galloway check him out He's got a really cool, it's like a rolled, um, I think like a rolled paint texture that would work awesome for anything vintage related. So check out Brent Galloway. He's also got a YouTube channel, um, really awesome guy. And he's part of the very small uh, merch community uh, that is designing for bands and artists. And he's a good guy. So yeah, check that dude out. I will link his channel below as well as his creative market store. So yeah, that is all for today. Um, if you guys like this video, if you want to see more of this sort of content, uh, be sure to like and comment, share if you want, and definitely subscribe because my goal is just to create a ton of videos on this channel that will give you guys actionable uh, techniques, advice, insight into designing for not only bands and artists, but you know, for your own clothing brand, for anything under the sun that involves you know screen printing, things like that. So. Uh, stick around and that is all for today. Peace.